Welcome Rayleigh Baptist Church for another video update. Thank you for, for joining us this week. We, uh, we trust that you've had a, a good week um, this week. We know for some that it's been tough um, and for some there has been joy. I pray that you will have known God's love and peace through this week and his presence with you. Uh, and whether that's through uh, the love and care of a, a neighbour um, or a socially distant visit or an unexpected call from somebody, we pray that you will have experienced something of God's presence this week. Uh, and if you've been um, in isolation this week, then, uh, then we trust that the God whose name is Emmanuel, God is with us. We trust that God has been with you even in that. Now, for some of us, we've been able to get out a little bit more since Wednesday. Um, we trust that you're, you're doing that, that you're making the most of that time and that you're, you're doing so safely. Um, but we recognise that not everybody is able to do that. And we do hope and pray that you've been able to at least enjoy your garden, um, whether you're watching blue tits, or whatever you're, you're doing in your garden, enjoying the good weather. And, and it, it seems like there's more to come. And whether you uh, have been eating more than your fair share of bread pudding this week, looking at you, Peter Lickfold, or whether you've, you've simply been getting to grips with technology that you never imagined that you would have to use. Uh, we trust that you've had a good week this week. But we know that for some, it has been a really tough week. We know that for some, uh, some of us have lost loved ones this week. Some of us have said goodbye to friends and family members this week. We know that some are sick in our fellowship and in our, our wider um, family this week as well. But we get to stand alongside one another. We get to stand together. We get to raise up one another's arms, hold up the arms of the weary um, and uh, ensure that we walk through this together. But as we share one another's sadness, we also get to share one another's joy. And, uh, and I'm really delighted to say that we have some good news to share this week. We've been praying for um, Isaac and for Jessica Aqua um, through their pregnancy um, and particularly over the last few weeks. Uh, we know that it's been a nerve wracking time. We know that, that lockdown has caused um, additional anxiety and additional unknowns for them. Um, but we are delighted to let you know, if you didn't know already, um, that Ezekiel has been born. He is safe and well. He was born last Saturday at 3.17. Uh, the 9th of May and he was weighing eight pounds and Jessica and Ezekiel and Isaac are all doing incredibly well um, and they're really disappointed that they can't introduce um, Ezekiel to us in person um, and so they've produced this little video to do it virtually. Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Um, obviously we'd like to reach with you face to face and it's a great shame that we can't do that and we are really praying and longing for the day that we can be reunited with you all. Um, but in the meantime, we just wanted to visually introduce you to Ezekiel here. Um, looking very pleased to be on camera. And we also just wanted to say a massive thank you to you all for your prayers, for your thoughts, for your messages and for your overall support uh, towards us. It really does mean a lot to us. And um, we pray that you'd be blessed during this time. We pray that you'd remain healthy during this time. And we do look forward to being with you soon. God bless. Bless you. Welcome to the world, Ezekiel Rene Kwame Aqua. We cannot wait to meet you. We cannot wait to see you grow and see how you develop. We'll have heard on the news over the last few weeks, in particular, the, uh, the crisis that's going on in our care homes. And, uh, and obviously, we think particularly of, uh, of Rosedale at this time, uh, a care home that we, a team of us get to visit regularly and to, to lead worship and to, to minister to, uh, to the residents there. Um, and uh, and we, we think of them at this really difficult time. We, we were able to give thanks at the start of lockdown that actually they were doing really well, that they were, they were clear of the virus. Um, sadly, the news has not been so good in recent weeks. And uh, you will have heard in our prayer connect and, uh, and maybe through conversation um, that a number of their staff have been affected, um, a number of their residents have been affected and are suffering with the virus, and that they've lost a few of their residents as well, some through the virus and, uh, and other through natural causes, but no less sad. Um, and we wanted to do something. We don't, we don't know what we could do. Um, we obviously can't go in, we can't meet with them, we can't gather with them and minister to them. So we wanted to bless them in some way. So we've sent some biscuits and some chocolates just to to cheer up the, the staff and the residents just a little bit, just to brighten their day a little bit. 
We've also sent in some of the colouring pages that we've been doing at, um, as part of our services over the last few weeks and some colouring pencils so that they can, they can do the same. They can join us uh, if they wish to in doing some colouring just to, um, just to take their minds off of what's been going on. But we wanted to do more as well and so we'd love to encourage you to, uh, to download the, the colouring sheet that we've produced, um, a Rosedale and RBC colouring sheet that says we're all in this together. We'd love you to, to download it and print it if you're able to, um, to colour it in um, and then to post it to Rosedale. The, um, the address is on the, the bulletin this week um, and if you don't know what it is you can uh, contact reception and they'll, they'll pass it on to you. But we would love to, to be able to flood that care home with, uh, with those beautifully coloured sheets with, uh, with that positive message on it um, that we stand with them, we stand alongside them as, as much as we can at a distance but we stand alongside them at this difficult time. Last week's service uh, continued our, our series on the theme of, uh, of faith for life's journey. Uh, and Jonathan spoke to us about the passage in, uh, in Genesis 15, talking about Abraham and how he had doubts in what God had said to him. Um, how he struggled, but how he was able to be real with God. He was able to be honest about how he was feeling and how he doubted some of what had been said. But as we go through the story, we, we heard uh, that Abraham trusted what God had said. He had faith in God's promises um, and, uh, and God credited it to, to Abraham as righteousness. Um, and Jonathan encouraged us each in our own doubts to be real with God, to be authentic, to stand before God and, and ask him the questions that we want to ask and be honest about how we're feeling uh, at this time in particular. Abraham trusted God and God did exactly what he said he would do. God kept his promises. Abraham had faith and God was faithful to Abraham. Now this Sunday we carry on that series. Stu's going to be preaching on Genesis chapter 16 so we'd love you to read that ahead of time um, and be prepared for the service. And this week's theme is, is faith to wait. And waiting is something that Abraham knew well um, and uh, something that many of us will know well too. And, uh, and Stu's going to unpack that, that passage for us this week. And then we're also going to be sharing communion this week. Um, Linda will be, will be leading us in communion. So we'd love you to have some bread and some juice available with you ready at the start of the service so that you can join in and we can share uh, in communion together. And so we're looking forward to gathering with you again this Sunday. We know it's not the same. We know that we would love to meet together and it may be some time before we're physically able to do that all together. Um, but we would love to, uh, to see you on Sunday morning, to see you gathering around your, your TV screens, your phones, your, your laptops, whatever it is, your tablets. Um, and we'd love to engage with you in the chat. If you, if you join us on Sunday morning, please just say hi. Just let us know that you're there. Um, we'd love to, to be able to welcome you. And don't forget, take this opportunity, please, to invite your friends, your family. Um, there's never been an easier time for people to dip in and try church. There's never been a, a lower pressure time for people to do it. It's been great to hear about people who have invited friends and family to join us. Some have got family joining us from uh, around the UK, some from around the world. Um, but it's been really encouraging to hear some people who've been inviting their friends to church or to church events for years and years and years. Uh, and nothing has ever come of it. They've always made excuses and not joined us. And, and now they're joining us. They're with us each Sunday morning. Um, and we just continue to pray. We pray that, uh, that God will use those services to, to speak to us and to lead us on in our faith. Um, but also to speak to others, to reach others who are joining us in our services as well. So we'd love you to, to invite your friends, your family to come and join us, to gather with us. And who knows what God might do with that in the future. So we just want to say as we, uh, as we close this update and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday, please stay safe and stay connected. Get on the phone, get on the email, text and WhatsApp each other. Um, work out Zoom if you know how to do Zoom, that would be wonderful. But, um, but stay connected with one another. We are one church, one fellowship. We are the body of Christ in this place and we, we need to maintain that, that connection and that relationship with each other for when we do gather again. God bless you. Have a good couple of days and we'll see you on Sunday.